Okay, now we're going to do squat and lunge all together because they're kind of the same. Um, at least you're looking for the same things. Remember for the test, you've got to say three things that you're looking for and finding with all of these. So with squat, lunge, um, the sit to stand, the side bends, or the side bridge, we need to, three things that we're looking at. So three muscle weaknesses or three instabilities. So first with the squat, you're going to have the patient stand, feet shoulder width apart, arms crossed, and you're going to instruct the patient to sit back like they're sitting in an invisible chair. So have the patient perform the squat. Now you're looking for, first we'll go up the chain. So we're looking for pronation possibly of the feet. We're looking for, as she comes down, if the heels come up, we're looking at gastroc or soleus tightness. So that's one thing we could be looking at. You're also looking for knee stability. As she goes down, we don't want them wavering again, same as the sit to stand. Um, as she does go down, you don't want the knees to come over the toes. And you want to watch hip flexion, so go down one more time. So see how far forward she's coming. Come on up, go sideways. So as we watch her do it from the side, you can see she's definitely flexing more than 40 degrees, which would indicate transverse abdominus weakness because she's flexing forward too much. Also tight erector spinae, um, not allowing to keep her upright. So that's the three things basically with the squat. Now for the lunge, it'll be performed the same way. We're gonna have the patient step out and in a slow and controlled motion, come down and touch the knee. So we saw a little bit of a wavering there, which could be glute medius weakness. You're looking for, as she steps out, you're watching the hips to either drop or stay level. And you're also looking for the ability of her to control the motion coming down and then balance again on the way up. So one more step forward. So she kind of loses her balance there a little bit. She's got to reset herself. And she went down actually smoothly, so there's not really any glute or hamstring weakness. Um, but she definitely does have instability. I would say knee instability and probably bilateral glute medius weakness. Do one from the side. We're also looking again for the toe, the knee to go over the toe, which she does um, pretty much bilaterally. That one looks better than the first one. But you want to make sure that the patient steps out far enough in order to keep the knee behind the toe and is able to pop back up to show muscle strength. And you want to keep the torso straight up and down. She flexes it forward again. Same thing, transverse abdominis. So all the weaknesses are the same in these ones. Um, you're looking for quad weakness as far as controlling the motion going down. And the same with this, because this is your lead leg for control. Uh, you're also looking at knee stability. If the heels come up, gastroc and soleus tightness, those are your three easy ones. You can also get into transverse abdominis if the patient flexes forward, or if the patient never has any kind of flex to their spine, it could be tight erect your spine. And that's all of them. And the patient will perform this three times before you actually evaluate. Yep. I got the that. Patient warm up three times.